What is going on guys? Dustin here with our first ever NASCAR Hauler review. This is a uh, experimental episode. See if y'all actually like it. Today we're taking a look at a 2017 Matt Kenseth Last Ride Hauler with the Walt on it. And yeah, and this is this is actually autographed by Matt Kenseth himself. I got this autograph when I was at Wild Adventures weeks ago. I think it was the uh, last, the final August weekend when it was the off season. Because Matt Kenseth had a race at Darlington the uh, the following weekend, which was the Labor Day weekend. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go from front to back and show you the the front of the truck and go all the way back to the trailer. And yes, I actually do have this on a display, so it's actually pretty cool. So here's the cab. The cab looks pretty good. It also got some black on it, which is you know, also have DeWalt Racing. And then the Mac has the last ride logo. And there's the front of the truck. I'm not sure what these trucks are actually uh, based off of, but I think when NASCAR Authentic first started, I actually got some of the fr some of the uh, Freightliner trucks. So not sure what the front is based off of. If anybody knows? If anybody know? Let me down. Let me know down in the comments section. This is the first episode, by the way. You know, just see if if y'all like like this. I'll do more. Let's see if to the front wheels. And there's the double dually with tires. And you also have the. Uh, Overhead exhaust in the back, followed by the trailer. It has the Matt Kenseth Last Ride livery. This is the same car that Matt Kenseth raced for his final, well, supposed final race of his career at Homestead, along with Dale Earnhardt Jr. And speaking of which, I actually do have a Dale Earnhardt Jr. hauler. If y'all would like to see that, let me know. Let me know down in the comments section. I got a lot of haulers I would love to review. There's the uh, blown up logo of Matt Kenseth Last Ride. There's a DeWalt logo. I actually did a uh, Matt Kenseth DeWalt diecast review. You, if anybody likes to see that, the link is down in the description. There's the side of the car. As printed, I I might get myself a diecast car that real soon. You also have the uh, toolbox down below. And also the double dually tires. These these trucks are actually meant to carry to or pull these long trailers. Keep on going in the back. Here's here's the back end of the trailer. You have the Walt Toy Mackenzie's last ride. And instead of a license plate, you have the uh, Joe Gibbs Racing. Also the uh, tail lights and the uh, reflecting strip on the bottom. Who wants to walk um, with Elias? Who wants to walk with Elias? Uh sorry if I Oh, I also forgot there was a little Joe Gibbs Racing logo as well. Here's the side, which is basically the same as the first one. Back door does go down. And there's actually nothing 
there's nothing inside but you can store like cars and you can store like two cars in there and the underside of the truck well let me take the trailer Let me take the trailer off. Here's what the bottom of the trailer looks like. It's just a long black piece. And also this is where the uh, leaf, spr leaf springs would be on a the trailer. They're actually, they're actually built uh, heavy duty. And here's the receiver. And the hitch is always in the center of the truck. And looking at the uh, back end of the cab. Yes, you actually do have the hitch right here. You also have the mud flaps. They are these trucks commercialized, so they are considered commercial vehicles. They're required to have mud flaps in the back and also on the truck. I know this is not, but not as trailer. If a trailer model doesn't look like this, they're required to have mud flaps. Because you don't know what kind of dirt, rocks, or anything could kick up in a crack of windshield. Especially in motors behind you. And this car is, is signed by Matt Kenseth, just like I said earlier. Overall, I like this truck. It looks nice. It's a great ad for any Matt Kenseth fan. I actually met some Kenza fans when I got this sign. They said it's best to. It's best like if you're going to get these signed, you never want to take it out of the, the packaging until you get up there. Or about like. Or if you're getting it signed by a driver at a driver appearance. drivers about like you know five people away from you that's where you can start preparing I may do more haulers like these things but the only thing that matters is if, if anybody likes this video like or if I like it specifically and I apologize for the notification tones and yes I am a WWE fan myself as well but hilarious to hear who wants to walk with Elias so I'm sorry for that. So yeah. anyway, uh, I hope y'all like this uh, hauler review. Is it a little change from my NASCAR diecast reviews? I will still do more, which which it ain't, this ain't gonna take away, you know what I do, but. Uh, feel free to like this video, comment, subscribe for more NASCAR hauler reviews or NASCAR diecast reviews. Give me one or the other. Again, this is a, a spinoff, you know, of what I normally do. So if you like it, let me know. Anyway, my name's Dustin, and I will see you in the next NASCAR diecast review. You just made